Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we are going to talk about GlobalCoin, the new cryptocurrency from Facebook. Have you looked into it yet? Confused about what it is, where you can use it, or what it means for the cryptocurrency space as a whole? Well, don't worry. If you're new to crypto or you've been around for a while but you haven't yet looked into this, I will break it down and explain it as simply as possible for you. So grab yourself a beer and chill whilst I explain GlobalCoin. <music> Hi everyone, I'm Fez for Bitcoin for Beginners. We're all about sharing enjoyable, informative and easy to follow content without shilling just our research and honest opinion. If you enjoy this video, please make sure that you give us a thumbs up. If you don't, then you know what to do. And whilst you're there, why not subscribe to the channel as well? And if you hit the bell icon, you will receive notifications of when we upload new content. So finally, the rumors have been confirmed. Facebook is entering the ring with its own fiat backed cryptocurrency. Some of you may remember that the Facebook rumors started back in May of 2018 when Facebook launched the blockchain initiative. A spokesperson said, like many other companies, Facebook is exploring ways to leverage the power of blockchain technology. This new small team is exploring many different applications. An advertisement for blockchain developers was spotted in December of 2018, which rekindled rumors that Facebook was entering the cryptocurrency space. And then again in early April of this year, when Nathaniel Popper tweeted that Facebook were seeking to raise $1 billion for their fiat-backed cryptocurrency. These rumors were confirmed in a Wall Street Journal article on May the 25th, Facebook finally officially announced that they were launching their own cryptocurrency, which we now know as GlobalCoin. We can expect GlobalCoin to be launched in early 2020. It has also now come to light that Zuckerberg has held talks with the Winklevoss twins, and boy would I have liked to have been a fly on the wall for that conversation, given the history between the three of them. He's also been an held talks with the Bank of England, as well as companies like Visa and MasterCard. Okay, so what is GlobalCoin? GlobalCoin is yet another fiat-backed stablecoin with an initial market cap of $1 billion. A source is said to have said that this money will underpin the value of the coin to protect it from the wild price swings that we see in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. The coin will be pegged to a range of fiat currencies, including the US dollar, the euro, the pound sterling, and the Japanese yen. GlobalCoin claims to be able to make sending money as easy as sending a photo, and also claims to be able to offer secure and affordable payments, even without a bank. Now, I'm unsure about this last claim, as at some point, a user would have to buy GlobalCoin, unless we are gonna start seeing little blue ATM similar to the Bitcoin ATMs popping up all over the world, enabling people to buy GlobalCoin. Facebook's recent acquisition of Instagram led to the release of a shopping feature, which we should expect to have built in functionality with GlobalCoin from its launch date, as well as the WhatsApp app. And on top of that, we currently have the ability to sign into thousands of websites using our Facebook login information via a very simple and easy to use plugin. So it's not a massive stretch of the imagination to assume that when GlobalCoin rolls out in early 2020, that we can expect to see thousands of merchants across the internet implementing GlobalCoin as a payment option with great ease. This would make GlobalCoin pretty much the most adopted cryptocurrency across the entire market from the moment that it launches. Zuckerberg has also taken a cue from the Brave browser and intends to implement payments to users for interacting with the platform. This may be things like viewing ads as well as a form of cashback on online shopping. I don't think that we can expect GlobalCoin to be a brave killer. Instead, I think ultimately they will complement each other, with many users sti still making use of the Brave browser for its implemented privacy functions as well as the passive income generated by viewing ads. This would be coupled with accumulating global coin from Facebook when they're doing their daily scrolling through the news feeds. But what does it mean for crypto as a whole? Well, Facebook has a average daily use account of 1.5 billion people and a monthly active use account of an estimated 2.5 billion people as well. 
That's a staggering number of people that could potentially be turned on to cryptocurrency and blockchain. It's easy to see why a lot of people think that global coin is going to open the floodgates to mainstream adoption and herald in a golden age of crypto. I, however, don't think this is the case. It will legitimize blockchain technology and other organizations may start looking at it in a more serious light. But I seriously doubt that 2.5 billion active users are going to rush out to accumulate Bitcoin. It will, however, take away some of the stigma attached to cryptocurrencies and act as a gateway to make the average user a little bit more comfortable and familiar with cryptocurrencies. But we have to remember, with great power comes greater regulation. It would be naive of us to think that with the launch of Globalcoin, we won't see a new wave of even stricter regulation. Just exactly how strict remains to be seen. So we have a few things to consider. Namely, Globalcoin is unlikely to lead to the entire crypto space being worth trillions of dollars. We also have Facebook's pretty shady past when it comes to handling users' personal data. So can we, or even should we, trust them with our financial data too. Global coin also goes against two of the core principles behind cryptocurrencies. That is that they should be both permissionless and decentralized. Of course, global coin is neither. Global coin is running in competition with companies like PayPal, Apple Pay, Amazon, and pretty much all the other stable coins out there. In my opinion though, it isn't acting in competition with Bitcoin, nor is it in competition with Ethereum. For example, Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer currency, but also a store of value, which Globalcoin is unlikely to become. In terms of Ethereum, Ethereum is a network that individuals or companies can utilize to launch their own projects or their own tokens. To the best of my knowledge, this is something that Facebook and Globalcoin have expressed no interest in today. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Globalcoin. Do you think it's going to send the whole of the market into outer space and make us all millionaires? Or do you think that it's the crypto antichrist that is bastardizing the core beliefs in search of more big data and even bigger profit? Let me know in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I thank you for sticking around to the end with me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, you can hit subscribe and also if you hit the bell icon, you'll receive notifications of when we upload new content. I've been Fez for Bitcoin for Beginners. Take care.